Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is People Leader. Welcome to another video. This one, I'm doing a tutorial on how to create your own workshop showcases using a guide, uh, basically a template where you can add in your own stuff. So what you're gonna wanna do, download link in the description, open it up, and it should look something like this. Come on After Effects. <laughs> All right, once it's open, what we wanna do is go towards the start. You can see there's those four black squares and that's what each number represents going from left to right, one, two, three, four. Whatever you type in this main main layer will um, go into the one, two, three, four respective to their boxes so that when you render it out, it'll work up. So we're just gonna put in some text that says welcome. Um, and as you can see, it goes into the box all right now you can add in some little effects to the text by going into effects and presets control 5 to bring that window up and go into decode fade in and we'll just drop that in press U on your keyboard to bring up the stopwatch keyframes and bring them to the start and we'll bring the last one to around one second That'll give it to, uh, the transition will go over one second, sorry. Not one minute, one second. All right, now we go to animate out and use the same thing. Press U on your keyboard twice to bring it back up. And we'll drag that to three seconds. Like so. And we'll do that to four seconds. Now, as you can see, um, we play it through. It should look something like that. And you know, that's all right. You can use any of my templates, render it as a MP4 or something and just put it in the background uh, and it'll render correctly. That's the great thing about this template is it's all like, you, whatever you put into this main layer uh, will render out when you render. First though, we're gonna add in some more effects. So we'll make a black layer, make it the comp size, go down to uh, simulation and you CC particle systems too. Keyframe the birth rate at the start of the composition. We'll set it to about 10. And move forward two frames by pressing control right arrow key and set it to zero. Then we'll go to physics and set the gravity to zero. This will make it sort of just burst out. And we'll put that underneath the text just to make sure that the text sort of is uh, in front of everything. You can set the particle type to whatever you want. I use faded stars in mine, but uh, you know, lines looks pretty cool. And you can see in the uh, appropriate boxes, it'll display properly. Now when we go to our main layer, you can see that's what it looks like. And that's what it will look like in the workshop showcase. Now if we go to our uh, frame uh, comp one and click add to render queue or press control shift forward slash uh, control M doesn't work for me. Set it, uh, just add them all in. It should look like that and click on lossless and set it to PNG sequence. This is so that when we open it in Photoshop, we can turn it into a GIF. Um, if you're going to use an online program, render it as an AVI or whatever, it shouldn't matter too much. They're just 150 by 150 things, like it doesn't matter that much about what file size it is. Anyway, set it to PNG sequence. And we'll get to rendering. I'll just delete these from an old recording. <laughs> Click render. It'll go through pretty quickly, it's pretty fast. They're very small files. All right, now that that's done, we should be able to just go ahead and open Photoshop. All right, you wanna hit File New and make a new thing because you can't, op you have to open it from the file menu. So click file, open, browse to where your render was and 
as you can see, this is where mine was. Make sure you have image sequence ticked and set the frame rate to 60. Click File, Export, Safer Web Legacy, change the looping options to Forever and click Save. I'm just going to replace it because I've already rendered this. Click Open and go to Desktop and find number 2 and do the same thing. I forgot to click Image Sequence. Make sure you have Image Sequence selected. Do the same thing, Export Safe Web Legacy. Set looping options to forever and it should work. There we go. That's done. All right. Now go to, uh, you have to open this in a browser. Go to your profile. Uh, actually, no. Link in the description. You have to open up this direct link um, and select your artwork. Name it whatever you want. Click, right click and do inspect link and then click on console or you can do F12 and find the console. Copy and paste in this code link in the description and click enter. Click save and continue and your artwork will upload. Now that that's uploaded, click profile, go to edit profile and it will appear in your uh, workshop showcase. That's not the workshop showcase, that's the artwork showcase. <laughs> Scroll down, workshop showcase, there we go. That's how you do it. Pretty easy, pretty simple. You can do it with any of my uh, old tutorials, just render it as, uh, with any of my old templates, just render it as a J, uh, as an AVI or whatever, H264, MP4. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Link to everything in the description, uh, download link to this. Uh, you can donate Bitcoin, Litecoin. Litecoin's gone up in price recently, it's pretty insane. So yeah. Make sure to check everything out. Um, I'll see you in the next video, I guess. Um, should have a channel update video. Talk about where my channel's going. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace later out. No problem, Sean Michael Carter. Can find a yala trying to fix my life like ever Lilla's out of night marauders. 12 hour cigars like Godfather, starving artists trying to get some car like the hardest barbers. Young culture, what I talk is dead coming from.